guys we in miami and i've got two things on my bucket list i really want to try mr beast feastables the best tasting chocolate ever made by mankind also known as our brand new feastable bar this is the best tasting chocolate on earth good job boys Ooh. and uh take a drive in a tesla they say nothing is impossible we're in miami baby the land of opportunity so come with me let's see what's up super excited uh, we're gonna explore Miami my friend has come to pick me up and he drives a Tesla so I thought I would take this opportunity to educate us including myself about Tesla's so yeah let's go I remember being at home in Kenya when I watched Elon Musk launching Tesla and I was like oh my gosh I really wanna you know just take a ride in that car and maybe one day own one you know six seven years later here i am <laughs> so to open a tesla you push and pull comes out so you push and pull i learned that just recently hey welcome thank you Andrada. <laughs> What, what, what language is that? That's Spanish. You know, Spanish is big down here, so. Oh, yeah, apparently. I didn't know that. It was yeah, Spanish. Yeah, it's everybody. Um, so, you drive a Tesla? Yes, I do. How it, much but, is a Tesla? Well, it depends because, wow, you got, okay, you got auto steering, you have auto steering, you have full self driving, you have performance packages. So, it depends what, what you want. You can get a nice used one for maybe 20 grand. And it can go all the way up to like hundred fifty thousand dollars, mm. depending on what you want. You got different models. This is the Model Y, and the reason why I love Tesla is because, you know, you got cars that come on and off the market. Everybody has a preference, but Tesla has really innovated. What can, it's like Bitcoin. It has really innovated how, the, you know, the driving experience. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. There's one thing that is so cool about this car is this charging spot. So you, you don't need a cable to charge your phone here. No, you He's letting you down. charge your phone. Right. Okay, I'm done. Yo, <laughs> and it's charging. Yeah. Wow, that's an amazing feature. What else do you love about your Tesla? Uh, the, the, the biggest feature for me is that uh, the self-driving capabilities. So if you're going on a long distance trip and stuff, so it, during the city, it's kind of it works but it really shines when you're going on a lot like say we're going to tampa which is uh four or five hours from here mm -hmm. uh you could really be a part of that driving experience without really heavily focused on the road because it will stay in the lane for you it will adjust the speed depending on what the um what what cars are there you can set to the speed limit and all you gotta do is because the laws haven't passed here in florida to where you could just let your hands off the wheel and so you have to kind of keep your hands on the wheel and it, it just drives itself you know so you could be so there are states in america where I, uh, the laws have passed and well, I don't, think, I don't think it has passed in America, period, where soon as, this is what I heard, soon as the law passed where, yes, the vehicle could just drive by itself, then, um, yeah, you don't have to keep your hand on the steering wheel. And Elon Musk has put out that if you own a Tesla and when they do pass that law, your car could become what they call a, a, a robot taxi, mm -hmm. where you just send it out to make money for you. What? <laughs> so you mean like you make it like an Uber, so yeah, guys, like an Uber it no, picks up guys yeah. and stops? I don't know how it's going to work, but that's what he said. So that let's, is crazy. <laughs> let's figure it out. Let's find out. Look, look yeah, what's going on right here. I kind of took it off because kind of well, walking the truck. Well, you can show the, the truck in front sign. of us. That's a truck. And yeah. it's showing us here, so. Oh, so it's, it's parking up. Go. I ain't gonna lie, this, it has a, it has a the full self driving, but I ain't gonna lie. I, sometimes you, you don't feel like you trust it because you wanna, yeah, scared, you wanna, like, yeah, you wanna, <laughs> I, I, I grew up in the era where you had to drive the cars yourself. Mm -hmm. So the car driving for me, I'm like, mm, I don't know, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's nice, it is nice. Guys, what me. do you think? Would you, would you try it? Would you do, I wanna try. 
they are called trucks are free, free of charge, don't pay. Oh, these are bus. Yeah, right here, okay, right here, these trucks. So you pay for the train, but this particular train right here is called the People Mover, which is absolutely free. It goes, it circulates downtown Brickell. Absolutely free. So yeah. if you visit downtown, you could absolutely uh, go on the, go on the, it's called a People Mover. Mm -hmm. And you go all the way downtown, you go to Brickell, supermarket. For free. You could go, yeah, you go to Brickell City Center for free. And guess what? There's nobody driving it. It's, it's, Nobody's driving? You go in there, you will see no conductor. I think maybe somebody... So it's just like the Tesla? It's like a Tesla, but I think somebody's controlling it from some kind of oh, central. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there's no, but there's no conductor in there, yeah. Downtown is known for condos. Downtown Miami. Downtown Miami, like downtown. When you say downtown, mm -hmm. and if you say you live in a house, they probably feel like you don't live in downtown because there's no, there's really no houses. A uh, uh, little bit, maybe a slight few, like maybe by Wynwood, but that's not really considered downtown. Mm -hmm. um, downtown is straight condos, man. Like I, I call it condo heaven. Like you could find a condo down here for sure. You got, Are they expensive? They must be, right? Yeah, million, you got condos for millions of dollars. Uh, How you, much does a one-bedroom go for, for example? A one-bedroom. You could, you could, it depends because you could get a one bedroom for two million. You could get a one bedroom for maybe three hundred fifty, four hundred thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. It depends where, and I'm talking about like in the downtown vicinity, okay. for sure. And it could get, it could get maybe go even more than that. It depends where. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm asking him. I heard we've got so many Jamaicans in. Miami, is that true? Cause you're you're Jamaican, right? Yes, we got a lot of Jamaicans in Miami. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this. In Jamaica, you could you just come back from Jamaica, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got Kingston one, two. You heard of that Kingston yeah. seven? It goes over to Kingston twenty, mm -hmm. right? They consider South Florida Kingston twenty one. Oh really? Oh Google wow. it. Don't don't believe me. Google it. <laughs> Kingston. So so South Florida. From West Palm Beach all the way down to Miami, Fort Lauderdale, is considered Kingston 21, where, and you have a lot of great Jamaican food down here in beautiful South Florida, man. I could I could spend all day, and they got this one of my one of my favorite pastry places is called Taste Right, where they make their own patties and pastry. Almost like a juicy beef, tasty parties, of course. Oh, the don't even There's talk a big about debate. Jamaican parties. Listen, <laughs> don't talk about, yo, I am missing Jamaican parties. Shout out to all Jamaicans, Wagwan Jamaicans. You are my favorite people in the whole world. And now that I've, I've gone to your country, I'm in love with Jamaicans. Like you don't understand. I love. I want to go back to Jamaica. Like I feel like I've not had enough of Jamaica. Yes. You don't understand. Shout out to you guys. And I hear many of you guys are in DC. Yo. Jamaica Jamaican, uh, man. And who Bless else? up yourself, Jamaican. Uh, are you with that, Miss Judy? Go in now. I made that. <laughs> okay, here we are, guys. Can you yeah. move the camera a little further? Like yes. So, oh my God, I'm driving in America for the first time. Yo, listen, I can't do it. Did I say it was intimidating? No, it's not. <laughs> oh my God, it's a Tesla. But I want to drive. I want to put it on self-drive, but not on the highway. Yeah, go ahead. Hit it twice. Go boom, boom. Hit it twice. The changer. The gear changer. Hit it twice. You want me to do it? Get out of this. You don't understand. Um, but the view when you're driving in Miami is incredible. Oh my God, the view of the ocean and and the, the palm trees and the road. Oh my God. So I can drive in the U.S. Listen. So what happens if we get pulled over now and they need my identification? Uh huh. Then Are I, we gonna go to jail? I, I'll bail you out. I got enough money. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's what happens when you have rich friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine me going to jail in America? Oh god forbid. We can vlog it. Good. Oh, we can vlog it. I got pulled over driving in the States. Oh wow. This is just like so smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. We are cruising in style. Yeah. Cruising in style. This is awesome, man. Right now, do it. How you say? 
say I hit the edge hit, of this. Twice, down. Should I break or anything? No, 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 just hit it down twice. One, two? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. There you go, wait. Oh, wait for what? See, oh, you see balls on bucket, that's why it's not doing it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't put on my seatbelt? Yeah. Damn, this whole time, I didn't even notice. Tesla is one of the safest cars in the, in the world. Oh. All right, do it now. There it go. Oh. oh you took you took it out. You took it out of self-driving. Oh, it's because I tried to control yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you try to control it. You gotta make it do it. Go ahead, do it. Oh man, I'm scared. Do, do it again, really do it again. Scared. Do it again, man. Oh, Jesus. Do it again. <laughs> My heart is like beating. Like, you know, you don't understand. Like I'm not used to this. Like, I All right, get, 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 in, uh, get in your left lane. Get, the get in the left lane. Don't break up, get in the left lane. Just speed up and get in your left lane. There you go. All right, go ahead. Uh, let me see where we. Do, 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 do. E, stay right here. Stay right here. Stay right straight? here. Yeah, straight, straight. Yeah. Okay, where can I? Okay, I can no. I can't go there. Okay, I drive. No, don't put don't put it on now. I'm gonna tell you one. Yeah, straight, straight, straight. Straight up? Yeah, straight up. Okay. You can put it on, put it on now, go ahead. What, when I'm pulling it, up? Yeah, you gotta put it on now, no, go ahead. No, that scared me. No, put it on, put it on right now. Oh my God, no, I'm sorry, I'm so scared. It can't <laughs> It'll turn this corner. At least not when I'm going up, like I thought you'd do it in a hood or somewhere. No. It will take the corner? Yes. <gasps> I can't. No, but you know what? It's a natural reaction because you know, yeah, it's, natural, it's like how it took over. And you're like, you're like, what are you doing? Yeah, no, it's, like, it's so scary. Yeah, it will take this whole corner. It will turn. You know. Oh my god. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. in the crib. I, I had yeah. you guys call Miami the crib. Yeah, the crib. Yeah, do it now. Huh? Do it now. Go ahead. Okay, uh, yeah, two yeah, times? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go. One, there you go. So I let it go? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my god. Is it? What? This is oh, oh my god. Put your hand on the wheel though. Ah, there you go. What? This Yeah. Oh, oh, you took you took yo, it off. You took it off. Yo, <laughs> this is crazy. Are you serious? Yeah. This is an amazing experience. Thank you so much. You, you just gotta put your hands on the wheel to, to, to make sure it's there, but you took it off though. But yeah, you, you saw I turned the corner a whole night. It did. It's, it's off you, now, you took it off. You took it off. You guys saw that? Oh my god, that was crazy. Yeah. Whoa, thank you. Thank you for this experience. Yeah. Thank you. So it's scary much. at first because yeah. you, you, you don't know if you should trust it or not, but I, I understand. But I see how you can trust it. Yeah. I see how. Yeah, yeah. You get, you get used to it. You get used to it. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am a big fan of Mr. Beast. And ever since I saw him launch his chocolates, we just launched our new Fusible Bar, which is new branding and an all new formula. It tastes amazing. I like it. Go to Walmart and try our milk chocolate bar, our milk crunch bar, our almond bar, our peanut butter bar, our dark chocolate bar, our dark chocolate sea salt bar, or our peanut butter crunch bar. All seven flavors are now available at Walmart. Go give it a try and tell me what you think. Do it or I won't like you. We'll punch you. I want to try them. them, but unfortunately, you know, they're not in Africa. So I told myself the day I come to the US, I'll definitely give them a try. So I've been moving around looking for them, but in most stores, they are sold out. And I live right next to a CVS store, but they don't sell them. So man, I'll have to try again tomorrow. Tomorrow And I'm so excited to try Mr. Beast Festivals. Look at me here, yeah, I'm in Miami and I just ordered an Uber. It just arrived, so let's go, let's go, let's go. So I've checked online, the only places where it is not sold in CVS, I live next to a CVS, it's not in CVS. It is sold in Walmart and, um, what is this other store? It's sold in Walmart, so let's go check it out. This is me in an Uber, guys. So I actually noticed that it is also sold in Target and I've got a Target way closer to me than the Walmart. So we got to pass by Target first. Cross your fingers for me. I hope they have some. Thank you. Oh, guys, we need to Target. Oh, let's see. There we go, Target. So one thing you guys know about me or might not know about me is that I love Mr. Beast. 
he has just inspired me so much as in who doesn't love mr beast he has inspired content creators all over the world to see that nothing is impossible and one of the most exciting things for me was when i saw that mr beast actually launched his own chocolate known as feastables and i was like oh my god if i ever go to america i really 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 want to try them you know like that's gonna be one of the first things i do and guess what five months later i'm in the u.s and i've got to try mr beast festivals 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 yeah so um <laughs> i just need to tick it off my bucket list so you know for those who are living they say it's not a big deal because you can access it anytime you can get it any you know most places but for us in africa well it's not there yet and that's why this is a very 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 big deal to me and for those of you who don't know mr beast i mean which hole are you living in mr beast is the biggest youtuber in the whole world he's such a cool guy with a big heart and great content so yeah check him out but i guess everyone knows him right yeah so let's go <laughs> I really hope I have better luck this time. You guys don't even understand. This is These are clothes. I'm looking. Oh, cute swimming costumes. Okay, but I'm looking for festivals. So, Mr. Beast, if you're watching this video, please bring festivals to Africa so we don't have to fly all the way to America to taste this goodness. Please open some branches in Africa. I know you can do it. Better get festivals. I really hope they're here guys I really hope I really hope they're in this supermarket like I really hope they're here so I think I'm gonna have to ask someone okay this looks like the place where chocolates could be right because it's a snacks mm, but I can't see festivals so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask oh, no this side either And then here. Yeah. Hmm. Not here either. Oh my god, I just wanna get this. I just wanna taste them. Ah yeah, this is where we have chocolates. So please tell me I'm gonna get the festivals. Please, please, please. Come on, no. I've got to try this before I go back. I think I need to ask, because... Uh, Hi, how are you? Sorry. Uh, I need your help. I'm looking for festivals, but I can't see them. Do you have them? What is? Festivals. Festival. Yeah, the chocolate. Ah, the chocolate. Let me. Oh, finally! Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, finally! Finally, guys! Oh my God! It's so crazy because they're actually very affordable. Look at that. Oh, guys, finally. Oh my god. Finally. Oh my god. And they're so affordable. Look at that. Oh my god. Yes, I think I'm gonna pick. I can only see these two types. I can see uh, the festivals. Um, milk chocolate and uh, the milk crunch so i'm gonna take one of each <gasps> oh my god yeah this is it ah, with the mr beast logo up there oh my god yeah and this is so cool. you guys i got them i got them i'm taking this too i always see these festivals on mr beast channel like Oh. Now I might have them. Like, like, oh my god. Let's go and try Mr. Beast Festivals. 
I drove about 40 minutes away from where I stay just to buy some feast balls, but I know it's gonna be so worth it. And the most surprising thing is that they're actually very affordable, less than three dollars. I thought they'd be more expensive to be honest. Anyway, can't wait to try them. Okay guys, so I am finally back in my hotel and I am extremely excited to try. So these are the only these are the only um Feast balls are in the stores, so I just got these two because they were the only ones there. I actually saw online that he has other other types, but I'm gonna go with this. So I'm, I don't know if yeah, I to start yeah. with. I don't know if I should start with milk chocolate or milk crunch. Oh, yeah, I don't know what to do, what to do, what to do. Crunch. I love the word crunch, and I love crunchy stuff. So I'm gonna start with milk crunch. So let's go. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I, I just you don't understand. Like I watch this guy from all the way from Africa. I know we all do, right? Who doesn't? But then just being able to because we just see this on TV, you know, being able to actually taste it. Oh my god. I came all the way to Miami. Try this chocolate. Yo. Oh my god. Let's see. Let's see if it's worth the hype. Guys, mm. mm -hmm. nice. kind of chocolate. I don't like brown chocolate. I'm a white chocolate kind of person. But if you're giving me brown chocolate, give me this. Because it's so tasty. Mm. It's so good. If you've ever eaten something so good, you don't want to finish it because it's so good. You want to keep, you know, eat it slowly, slowly, little, little. That's what I'm going to do with this. I'm actually taking it back to Africa so I can give my hubby a taste, my brothers, my dad, my friends, and relatives. You know, because we don't have it in Africa. So I'll be like, hey, I brought me some peace. Peace the boss. Woo Next, I'm trying this milk chocolate. But it's very crunchy. It has something inside the chocolate that, that all the chocolate has melted in my mouth. So now I have this crunchy thing, this white thing in my mouth, and it's just so crunchy. Then I'm biting into it, and it tastes so good. Oh my god! So next, let's go with um, let's try the milk chocolate. That's a sub. Okay. So wow. this is worth the hype. Thousand percent worth the hype, you guys. You don't understand. Hmm. I was really hoping it wouldn't be the bitter kind of chocolate, but it tastes so good. It's milky. Mm. Totally recommend it. Mm, Mr. Beast, big up yourself, you're doing a good job. And uh, yeah, I hope you bring this to Africa so we don't have to travel all the way from Africa <laughs> to America just to try your festivals. But they are so worth it, guys. I'm gonna carry some for as many people as I can because I know so many people, I'm sure everyone will want to have a bite. So I'm gonna try and control myself and resist the urge to eat more so I can take it to other people in Africa. So yeah! Thank you so much guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have give it a thumbs up drop a comment let me know what you think and subscribe if you haven't already until next time bye also tag mr beast and tell him you want this in africa because it's so good it's so good trust me so yeah thank you